Hey guys, so I actually just got finished doing my entire pamper routine. It's Sunday and I figured I need to film this because you guys have been asking and asking and asking me for an updated pamper routine. I like to do a pamper routine once a year because I always kind of switch it up and every year I find I introduce new things, new products. So I'm telling you, you guys are going to absolutely love, love, love to see my entire routine. I am religious about it, like not even kidding, every single Sunday. I do my pamper routine. I do this exact routine every Sunday. I don't like to go anywhere on Sunday. Don't call me on Sunday. Don't text me on Sunday. Nothing but my pamper routine and Netflix. So this is how I'm going to look for the rest of the day on Sundays. I'll usually do this routine as soon as I wake up in the morning. I'll just eat breakfast and then I'll get right to it. That way it gives time for my tan to kind of sit and dry. I have tan on even though you kind of can't tell because the lighting's a little bright, but um, it gives my tan time to dry. It gives my hair time to air dry. I'm telling you guys, my skin is glowing. My hair is flourishing. Like, dead ends who? Bleach hair what? Not me. I love doing this every single week because it just makes me feel good for the rest of the week. I know my skin's gonna be on point, hair is gonna be on point. A lot of you have been asking for my in detail hair care routine, so you're gonna get to see everything today, including skin, tan, how I shave my face, just all these things. So if you guys wanna see my pamper routine, then make sure you keep on watching. So the first step of my pamper routine is always to get into my robe, put my hair up, and start doing my little I guess you could say, what do you want to call this? Like little hair, whatever. <laughs> I always trim my brows. I didn't really have to this time, but I still wanted to kind of show you guys how it works. Um, for those of you who ask, I actually had electrolysis done on my eyebrows as a teenager, so they are permanently done. But sometimes I do get a few hairs here and there, so then I will just tweeze them out. And I do shave my face, but I'm actually currently getting laser hair removal on my entire body, including the nape of my neck and my sideburns and my upper lip. So I'm not really doing the sideburns so much, but I do still like to get the peach fuzz off of my face. Laser doesn't really work on peach fuzz. So I will just use this electric um, shaver and remove the peach fuzz off my neck and off of my face. So before I get into the shower, I am going to do a little bit of prepping of my shampoo and conditioner. Today's video is in partnership with Brio Geo. I'm going to be using these oils, and these oils are so special, you guys. They're their new products. They're absolutely amazing. The first one I'm going to use is their tea tree oil. It's 100% organic, no sulfates. It's such, such, such high quality. I've used tea tree oil so many times before, and this is one of the highest quality I've ever tried, which is amazing. So what I'm going to do is actually just add a few drops into my shampoo. You guys are going to see me use these oils all throughout this video because they're so multi-purpose so I'm just shaking that up this is actually amazing for your scalp so now I'm going to be using their cold pressed castor oil and this is hundred percent organic as well I am obsessed with this even the bottle the way how smoothly the oil comes out I'm actually adding a few pumps to the conditioner just to make the conditioner that much more conditioning it's so amazing I find it really helps my hair just get extra smooth so now I am hopping into the bathroom so that I can put my hair down and get into the shower so I am going to be using that Brio Geo shampoo. I love this one. It's the repair one. I love how much it lathers. This gets my hair super clean. You guys know I wash my hair once a week, so it's really important for me to make sure that I have a shampoo that's going to really get all those oils out of there. And this one does that while still keeping my hair very silky and soft. And you can just see how well it lathers, even though there's no sulfates, no parabens, such, such, such high quality. I do have a discount code. You guys can actually get 20% off briogeo.com with the coupon code Amy. And the fact that you can get 20% off these products is amazing because they are such high quality. So this is the shampoo that has the tea tree oil in it too. So it's really going to help my scalp. Also, what's going to help my scalp is this Brio Geo Scalp Revival. I love this so much. This is pretty much an exfoliator for your scalp. Now, winter's here, and any time that winter comes around, my scalp, I always get dandruff. Like, I think even a couple times you guys have noticed it, I always get dandruff. But with this stuff, it really helps exfoliate my scalp and make sure that I'm not going to be walking around looking crazy with dandruff in my hair. So I just start at the root, and I really rub it in. And then towards the end, I kind of will also bring it down to the ends of my hair because it is very moisturizing as well and I like to make sure I really get in that middle part since I do part my hair in the middle quite often and I just love how this feels it has like these tiny little microbeads that are really cool 
So now it is time for conditioner. This is the matching conditioner, the repair one from Briogeo. Why I love this is because it's one of the silkiest conditioners I've ever used and it really helps to detangle my hair. Ever since I bleached my hair, my hair has gotten very tangly and there's always knots in it. But ever since I started using these Briogeo products, it just makes your hair like silk that you literally never have knots in your hair. Like, you'll see how easy my hair is to brush out afterwards. So smooth, so I like to put it on the ends and then I'll kind of slightly bring it up um, to the top there as well, but mostly focusing on the end part. And then, you guys know I love this. I have used this for so long now. This is the Deep Conditioning Mask Don't Despair Repair. It is incredible like this is what saved my bleach hair i'm telling you you guys have to stop and go purchase this right now you can get 20 percent off of my code as well which is bomb but before i put the mask in i will drain all that excess water that way i don't water down the mask and then i'll take a huge gulp since i do have long hair and i'll really focus it on those ends but i don't want to neglect the rest of my hair too so i will make sure that i bring it all the way throughout the top and really like massage it in you know that way i'm not missing any strands and everything can get love with that mask and let it sit in there. I will also let this sit and I'll continue doing other stuff in my shower and then I'll wash this out at the very end. So it'll end up sitting here for like 10 minutes. So moving on to face. I am going to wash my face, but what I love to do is use this Clarisonic, you guys. It really cleans out your pores. I don't use this every single day, but I do use it a couple times a week and I really like to focus on my T-zone. So on my chin, because I kind of get blackheads and texture there. And then I really like to focus on my nose. This really helps to unclog my pores because before my face was just full of blackheads and ever since I've been doing this, it's really helped. I will even follow up with this rice exfoliant from Dermalogica. And um, again, I will focus this on my nose and my chin and I cannot tell you how clear and glowing my skin looks after. Like you will see in the clips after this, my skin is glowing. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and exfoliate my body because I have to rub off that old tan because I am gonna also tan with you guys today. So I'm rubbing off that old tan. If you, even if you don't tan, this is important to just scrub off the dead skin cells from your body. It just makes you super smooth and soft. So now that I'm out of the shower, the first thing I will do is wet my nose so that I can put this um, Bior blackhead strip on. And I like to do this right out of the shower because the pores on my nose are super soft and open, making them vulnerable to the black strip. So it just works that much better. And then I will also put on this mask. This is the... Um, I don't know how I forgot the name just quickly. Um, Drunk Elephant Mask, you guys. This is, it burns a little bit when you put it on, I'm telling you, it burns a little bit, but I'm telling you, it is like a little mini at-home facial. It really does get deep in those pores. And here, you guys can see I'm like letting my teeth breathe and that's because I wanna make them dry so that when I put on the Crest White Strips, it sticks better, if that makes sense. So I will just leave these strips, the mask, and the um, nose head or black, head <laughs> strip on for a good like 10-15 minutes. I don't want to rub my hair too much because I don't want it to get frizzy so I'm just kind of like taking the water out like that. Using that cash oil again from Briogeo, I'm telling you, you guys are going to see it all throughout this video. It's so multi-purpose. I'm putting it on my lips and sometimes I even like to put it on my cuticles because it's so 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 hydrating. And now I'm just getting my hair into that perfect middle part because I really like to put my hair in the middle and then brush out my hair afterwards. Oh, before we brush my hair, I'm removing my black strips or my blackhead strips. I can't, I don't, I can't say the proper name for these and the um, teeth whitening. I don't like to leave the teeth whitening in too long because it gets, my teeth get kind of sensitive. So I find 15 minutes is enough. And I like to brush my teeth afterwards as well. That way I don't have like the, you know, the stuff from the teeth whitening sitting there. And don't forget to brush your lips. I'm telling you, this really helps to exfoliate it. You can see how cherry red my lips are afterwards. So I am gonna be doing my little skincare. I'm gonna be adding this um, Drunk Elephant Glycolic Night Serum. And then I'm gonna follow up with the um, Watermelon Sleeping Mask, I think it's called. Yeah, here it is, the Watermelon Sleeping Mask so good this is by i think the brand is glow recipe it's so so good it's so hydrating i love it so what i'll also do is follow up with again the castor oil you guys are going to see me take a little bit of that 
and since it is thick i like to just take a little bit and just pat it on the skin i'm telling you using using an oil really helps to make your skin glow even if you have oily skin like me use a little bit of an oil at night it's going to be bomb i will also put it in my brows and my eyelashes because it really helps to con condition them and it actually helps them grow too and keep them soft so i love that so I'm actually gonna put again some more on my lips. I love, I actually just put some on my lips just like an hour ago. It's so, so, so soothing. And the tea tree oil from Brio Geo. I love this trick. I've been using this for years. I love putting this on any sort of acne that I have because I'm telling you, your pimple will disappear within hours. And I like to also put it on my nose because it prevents blackheads. As you can see, these Brio Gio oils are so, so multi-purpose. I'm telling you guys, you need them. They're just a staple in your pamper routine for your hair, your skin, your nails, everything. So I'm taking this Brio Gio heat protectant. I absolutely love this one. This is gonna be great because I do straighten my hair pretty often, so this is just gonna really protect it. And I'm also using the castor oil again. You do wanna mix it with another oil, like maybe coconut oil or something when you're putting it on your hair, since it is a little bit thick. So I'll mainly focus it on the ends for like, I would say 90% on the ends and then a tiny bit on the top as well. I quickly wanted to mention that the Brio Geo products are available at Sephora as well, but if you wanna get my full discount, you can purchase it from briogeo.com. What I absolutely love about the Brio Geo products is it makes my hair brushing so easy. I don't get tangled because my hair is so silky. So now we're gonna move on to tanning. You need body lotion, you need your tanner. I love the Ultra Dark from Loving Tan. And um, you really wanna moisturize those areas that tend to like gather, that the tan, tan tends to gather in. So the elbows, the wrists, the hands especially, and the underarms. So for the hands, a lot of you guys ask me, how do I avoid getting tan hands? Here's my little trick. Put a little bit of that Brio Geo castor oil on your wrists and on your knuckles. And the tan is not going to sink into that area and you're going to have beautiful tan hands, not those, you know, dark orange tan hands. So I'm taking a couple pumps and I am starting on the chest and up the neck. Don't forget to do behind your ears because the last thing you want is to be beautiful bronzed and tanned. And then when you put your hair up in a ponytail, the back of your ears are white you don't want that so don't forget to do that and um, when i tan i like to skip my hands until the very end when the glove is more dry and then you kind of slightly bring it up to the hands and in between the fingers on the knuckles even in between there so that it doesn't show like white marks in between and then what i like to do at the end is take the dry side and go over it because it helps to take off any excess product so last thing I will do is drink some tea. Now this tea is special, you guys, okay? This is like a little detox tea from acai. I'm telling you, it is amazing, but you wanna be careful, okay? Don't take this too often because it does make you go to the bathroom, if you know what I mean, but it's amazing if you're feeling bloated. Um, I like to drink this about once a month. Okay, you guys, so that is pretty much it for my pamper routine. I hope you enjoyed. Now all I'm gonna do is just let this tan sit for about six hours at least at least six hours and just let my hair air dry for the rest of the day honestly my hair feels so healthy it was so easy to brush through so i love the brio geo products so i really hope you guys enjoyed watching this pamper routine don't forget to give me a like thumbs up and let me know what other routines you guys want to see next because i always love doing them and i know you guys love watching so yeah thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys